Every website owner wants to secure their WordPress website and two-factor authentication is a fantastic way of doing it. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up two-factor authentication for your WordPress website using WordFence. So let's get started. So we're here in our WordPress dashboard. To activate two-factor authentication for our website, we need to install a plugin called WordFence. So go to plugins and select add new. And in the search box, search for WordFence. Give it some time and you can see Yes, the WordFence security firewall and malware scan. So this is the plugin that we are going to install. Now you can see another poll, the WordFence login security, which provides you with WordFence's login security features, such as the two-factor authentication, login and registration capture, and XML RPC protection. Now you can install this plugin if you want, but if you install the complete software, which is the WordFence security firewall and malware scan, you will get all of these login security features plus more. However, if you're already using another WordPress security plugin, then you can just install WordFence login security plugin so that you can use the desired login security features only. So after you click on install, wait for a few seconds to install and then click on activate. Now we're here in our WordFence dashboard. So you can see your overall security status of your WordPress website. You can see the status of your firewall, your scanning, and other security related stats. Now WordFence is a complete package when it comes to WordPress security. It uses advanced firewall system to defend against malware signatures and blocks malicious IPs to protect your WordPress website. It also has advanced features such as country blocking. Using this feature, you can block a specific geographic location. It also gives you advanced scanning options and you can also schedule your scanning with this. You can also monitor the traffic to your website live. With WordFence, you get all of the security options and much more. So to activate 2FA, we are going to go to Login Security. And this is the two-factor authentication page. There's the settings, but first we have to activate the two-factor authentication. So here is the QR code that you can see. I am going to use Google Authenticator app on my phone to scan the QR code. You can download this app from Google Play Store or Apple's App Store. So I have scanned my QR code and I have received another code. So I have to enter this code in my WordFence. And this code changes periodically. So I'm going to go back to my uh, WordFence and type in the code over here and then click on activate. You will be prompted to download some security codes. Now there will be five security codes and each of those codes will be 16 characters long plus optional spaces. Now each of these codes can only be used once. Now I highly recommend you do this because if you lose your device somehow you are going to need these security codes or these recovery codes so download this and now your two-factor authentication is activated now let's check out if it is really working so I'm going to log out of my account and using our username and password I'm going to try to log into our WordPress dashboard I'm going to click on login as you can see, it is asking for the two-factor authentication code. So I'm going to type in the code from our Google Authenticator app and then click on login. So yes, that is basically how you can set up uh, two-factor authentication for your WordPress website. So there's one other thing I wanted to discuss. Just go back to login and security. Now you can see the QR code is gone and using this deactivate button you can deactivate the 2FA anytime you want. So now I want to discuss the various user roles for two-factor authentication. In the settings page you can see there are various users over here. The administrator, the editor, the author, the contributor and so on and so forth. 
So you can actually click on this drop down button and decide whether the two factor authentication will be disabled, optional or required for these users. See for administrator, you can only set to optional or required. By default, it is set to optional and you can keep it as optional if you want and you can make it required if you want. So I'm going to keep it optional and for editor, I'm going to select required and for authors, I want it required and for contributors, I can select required. And after you have done, you can click on the save button to save your progress. Again, there's another option called the grace period, which is set to 10 days. Now, what does this mean? For roles that require 2FA, users will have this many days to set up 2FA. Failure to set up 2FA during this period will result in the user losing account access. This grace period will apply to new users from the time of account creation. For existing users, this grace period will apply relative to the time at which the requirement is implemented. This grace period will not automatically apply to admins and must be manually enabled for each admin user. There's another option called the allow remembering device for 30 days. So if you enable this option, it will remember a device for 30 days. So users with two-factor authentication may choose to be prompted for a code only once every 30 days per device. So there are a lot of options to explore. You can go through each one of them and select the best security measures for your website. So that is how you can activate your two-factor authentication using WordFence. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, give it a like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next video.